Aries, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I did my root touch-up. I had mentioned that I was going to do the touch-up in my how to maintain red burgundy hair video. And I had asked if you guys wanted to see the video and to see how I did it. And of course, you guys said yes. I did also mention that I wanted to go a tad bit brighter, which I did. I didn't want to go too, too bright, but I am very satisfied with the look. My hair just looks a lot more rejuvenated and the color is just pushed back into my hair and I mean that's pretty much the whole point of getting a touch-up because you know especially with red hair it does tend to come out quickly and it ends up looking washed out I honestly didn't think I needed a like really bad touch-up to where it looks like horribly like washed out or anything but I decided to do the touch-up because my roots were growing in like super crazy and it was just starting to get noticeable and it started to look gross that way so I was like yeah we have to do something about this because my hair is looking all crazy. Like I said, I did mention that I needed to touch up my hair in the maintenance video. So if you guys have not watched that video yet, then I will link that down below just so you could have an idea of how I keep the red in my hair and how I kept it in and had it last for so long. I touched up my hair, I want to say about 12 weeks after I had dyed it. I hadn't dyed it since I dyed it the first time. If you're wondering how I dyed it to the burgundy, plumish, reddish color, then I can also link that video as well, just so you could see. I just did a step by step and how I completed it. But yeah, I did not have to dye my hair for 12 weeks. And I thought that was pretty amazing because I know usually when you have like a red shade of hair, it's good to touch it up every six to eight weeks or so, just because red, red just fades out. But I was able to maintain it and keep that color for 12 weeks. I didn't even realize that it was that long till I went to my Instagram and I was like flipping through like how many weeks ago it was till when I first announced that I did dye my hair and it said 12 weeks and I was like whoa was it really 12 weeks because it really didn't feel like that it felt like maybe eight weeks you know six weeks or something but yeah it's crazy I also wanted to put it out there that I'm not a professional please 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 dye your hair at your own risk. I just go off of my judgment and this is what works for me. So I just want to put it out there just in case you know what I'm saying. Here's just a quick shot of the hair now. But yeah, I guess I'll just stop rambling now. I will let you guys watch how I touched up my hair. Thanks. So let's do this. I'm going to start with the L'Oreal Developer in 30 volume. I'm going to pour two 2.4 ounces of the cream developer into the mixing bowl. Then I'm going to take the L'Oreal High Color Highlights in magenta and pour two tubes of that into the mixing bowl as well. I have thick long hair so that's why I'm using this much product but if you feel like you need more or less then just go off of what amount you need. As you can see here I'm just mixing the product till it gets to a creamier substance. Surprise guys! Yes, I'm looking super crazy, but don't mind me. Let's just go on with this process. I'm just going to start off with brushing out my hair and making sure I get all the knots out. Seriously, look at these roots. I can't believe this much has grown out. It's about an inch or so. We need to definitely change this up. I'm going to start off with taking this claw and layering my hair, starting from the bottom and working my way up. I'm going to separate the first layer into two, and then we're going to start with the dyeing process. As you can see here, I am putting the color back into the hair that has already been dyed and I'm not dyeing the roots yet. I'm going to go back in and do that later. But I'm going to do this whole process to the whole head first. the last layers. Now that I got the areas that I wanted to dye, this is where I go back and get all the roots. The reason I go back in and dye the roots last in this whole process is because it's still virgin hair and that means that it will soak up the color faster and I don't want to risk the chance that it may come out brighter than the rest of my hair. Now I'm just making sure that I covered all my roots and then I'm going to take my fingers and run through my hair making sure that the product distributes evenly throughout my whole head. 
And that's the whole process. I leave the dye in for about an hour and then wash it all out. Thanks for watching. Anyway, so now that you have seen the video on how I pretty much touched it up, um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, just comment down below, let me know what's up. And if you can please like this video if you thought it was helpful, and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more of my beauty videos, I would greatly appreciate it. I will talk to y'all later. Thanks. Bye.